Hey guys, we are at Spring Meadow Nursery in Grand Haven, Michigan, and this is where Proven Winners Color Choice Shrubs come from. We've been able to tour around and learn a little bit about how a shrub is grown from scratch. It's a really fascinating process, and I thought I'd give you a peek. It all starts in the trial fields. They plant tons of new varieties of plants in these fields to test them for a bunch of different things, like sun and drought tolerance, bloom time and color, stem strength, and growth consistency. Even though these are beautiful plants, many won't make it past the trial phase. Only plants with superior performance get to move on. So once a plant has passed the trial phase, it's put into production, it's moved into the stock fields, like this one. Workers come in and take cuttings off these plants, which are then taken to the sticking room. Before I show you the sticking room, I really want to show you how they make their soil mix because it's pretty cool. First, peat moss is shaved off of a large bale into the first topper. Peat moss is the main medium for rooting. It helps hold moisture in the soil. It moves down the conveyor belt and is sprayed with water to settle it. Then perlite is added. Adding perlite saves on the amount of peat that is used. It holds a nutrient charge for the plants and helps with aeration, keeping the mix loose and well draining. Next is bark, which adds organic matter and adds weight to the pot so it doesn't constantly want to tip over. Because of the acidity levels in both the peat and bark, a little lime is added to the mix. This helps bring up the pH to where the nutrient availability is optimal. The last ingredient is time-release fertilizer, which will feed the new plants. It's all mixed and taken up a conveyor belt into the next room where it's dropped into trays for planting. The trays go down the conveyor to where the cuttings are hand-placed in each cell. This process is called sticking. So once the trays are all filled up, they bring them into this propagating greenhouse that's kept super humid and warm. And it's the perfect conditions for these plants to root in and start growing. After they've rooted in a little bit, they're moved into a cooler greenhouse where they're allowed to grow on a little bit more. So in these greenhouses, they're watered regularly, monitored for pests and disease, and they're also trimmed. Trimming the plants creates a fuller, stronger, healthier plant, and they use the coolest machine to do this. Let me show you. After they've grown on a bit, they're put through a machine that sorts them out based on the size and quality of the plant, but it is super cool because each plant goes through this computer and it takes a picture and they're assessed based on the pixel density of that picture. It's almost hypnotizing to watch this machine work and put all of these plants in the correct rows based on what growth stage they're at. The plants that meet quality requirements are then sent on to other growers. So here at Spring Meadow, they start a lot of plants and grow them on to two and a quarter or four inch liner stage, so little baby plants, and then they're sent to other growers that have facilities that look quite a lot like this one, and they're grown on into larger, more mature plants before they're shipped to the nursery where you see them. So plants go through a lot of different hands and a lot of stages and sometimes years before they end up in your yard. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little of the process on how shrubs are started. They do so much more here at Spring Meadow. They do propagation via tissue culture, which I'm told is doing propagation on kind of a microscopic level, and that's completely over my head still. So hopefully one day we'll be able to share a video on that. Um, if you guys ever have a chance to visit a grower, you should definitely do it. It's a super interesting thing to see. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.